Hey everyone, today I'm going to share with you my experience of exploring the Grand Canyon through a helicopter tour. There are three ways of exploring the Grand Canyon, by air, on the Colorado River and by foot. We chose the easiest option to save time and flew in one of Papillon's helicopters towards the Grand Canyon West. While the helicopter model and name were a bit too technical for me to remember, it was a comfortable six-seater which gave me the front seat view. Our first sight was the Hoover Dam. The Hoover Dam was essential to the livelihood of Native Americans and Spaniards who lived in the area during the 18 and 1900s. These people sought the dam's construction activities as a way to get through the Great Depression. It was also essential to control the raging Colorado River, which had a history of flash flooding. Our next site was Lake Mead, which is extremely popular for various water activities. The impressive landscape surrounded like the grapevine mesa laden with large Joshua trees adds to its photographic wonder. the Grand Canyon for the first time really does give you the butterflies. The first sights of the Colorado River hundreds of feet under you is amazing. This tour is probably not for those who are afraid of heights as we flew super high and that was high enough for us to experience the sheer magnitude of the Grand Canyon. We got just 15 minutes on top of the glass skywalk, but had no waiting time whatsoever once we reached. The skywalk is run by the Native Americans in the area who have their own transport to and from the helicopter and that's included in the package. We also got two complimentary photos and a snack bag. While returning, you get to see how arid and dry this part of the world is. Homes look like tiny specks of dust from this angle and they're miles away from each other, interconnected by long, narrow, empty roads. This VIP Skywalk Express Tour with Papillon Helicopters gives you the Grand Canyon experience in a capsule form. If you're planning to book a helicopter tour of the Grand Canyon, then I strongly suggest making it at winter, when it's slightly cooler. The helicopter's insides are usually baking hot once in flight. I apologize for the shakes in this video as getting camera gear on board the helicopter was not an option. Hope you found this video useful and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and you know the drill, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification button so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos.